So you can see here the fourth question is given. A flooring tile has a shape of parallelogram whose base is 24 centimeter and the corresponding height is 10 centimeter. Okay. So here the flooring tile is in the shape of parallelogram whose base is given as 24 centimeter and height is already given as 10 centimeter. So let us first write what is given to us. Base is equals to 24 centimeter and height is equals to h I will write height is equals to here it is 10 centimeter ok. So how many tiles are required to cover a floor of area 1080 meter square is given. Here you can see both base and height are given in centimeter square. So first let us find the area of parallelogram area of parallelogram formula we are having as base into height ok so let us substitute base value b is given as 24 ok so the height is given as 10 centimeter here ok t equals to 240 centimeter square ok so the area of parallelogram given here is 240 centimeter square now what they have given us they have already given us the area of the floor was 1080 meter square ok so we have to find how many tiles we require to complete this much of area so area of one tile ok area of one tile that is equals to 240 centimeter square ok now we have to find how many tiles we require to cover the area of 1080 meter square ok so let us first write here 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter we know this ok so 1 meter square will be equals to 100 into 100 centimeter square you can see here meter square when we are squaring this it will also become square here 100 square into centimeter square so 1 meter square will be equals to 10,000 centimeter square ok similarly here 1080 meter square will be equals to how much what we need to do here we need to multiply this so it will become 1080 into 10,000 so how much we are getting 1080 and 1 2 3 4 zeros will be as it is ok this will become centimeter square now to find the complete area what we need to do here we need to cross multiply this as you can see here 1 0 this is written as now you can see this can be replaced as 1 0 8 0 0 0 0 0 centimeter square instead of this meter square we can write it into the centimeters ok so what we need to do here cross multiply 1 0 8 0 into 1 it was ok now this will become into 1 into 1 it is divided by 240 so you can see 1 0 and 1 0 from here is cancelled what is remaining with us so 1 0 8 0 0 0 0 divided by 24 is remaining ok so 2 1s are 2 2 2 are 4 here you are getting 2 5s are 10 2 4s are 8 1 2 3 4 zeros will be as it is then 2 6 are 12, 2 2 is 4, 1 is carried, 2 7 is 14 and 0 0 0 0 will be as it is. Then 2 3 is 6, 2 1 is 2, 2 3 is 6, 1 is carried, 2 5 is 10 and 3 zeros. Okay. Then the last one 3 1 is 3. 3 4 is 12, 1 will be carried, 3 5 is 15 and 3 zeros. So what are the number of tiles required here? 4, 4, 45,000 tiles are required. Okay.
So the next last question of this exercise you can see here an ant is moving around a few foot pieces of different shapes scattered on the floor okay so these three diagrams are nothing but the foot pieces which is scattered on the floor which are of different different shapes you can see there are different different shapes for which foot piece would the ant have to take a longer round it means what we need to find here we need to find the complete parameter of this um three figures okay not the area we don't need the inside part here because what they have told for which foot of foot piece would the ant have to take a longer round it means if the if the ant is traveling from this point and it will take one round to take one round how much area it is required we have to count for each figure here it means we need to find the parameter here instead of area okay so let us consider for the first figure as you can see figure is like this here they have given this is nothing but the complete diameter of the figure okay so if the diameter is equals to 2.8 we need to find this curved surface area okay so let us see one by one so according to that you can see for the figure a d was given as 2.8 cm was given okay so if the d is 2.8 cm what will be r r is radius radius will be half of diameter d divided by 2 you will get the radius so d is how much 2.8 and it is if, if it is divided by 2 so you are getting 2 ones are 2 Two ones are two point two four za eight. So you are getting one point four centimeter as your radius. Okay. Now, see a curve surface area. You can see curve. We don't need the curve surface area. Uh, let us write the circumference. Okay. The outer part of the circle is to, uh, is known as circumference. So circumference of semicircle is given. Okay. So what is the semicircle? Semicircle is in the sense half of circle. So half of what is the uh, formula for circumference of the circle? It is two pi r. Okay. So half of two pi r. Okay. Circles. Half part is nothing but semicircle. So this two and two will be cancelled. We are left with pi r. So let us substitute pi value is twenty two by seven and r value is one point four. So it will be seven one just seven and zero point two in ah uh, seven zero point seven into zero point two. When it is divided, it will get one point four. Okay. So we are left with twenty two into zero point two. Okay, when we divide, sorry, when we multiply this, we are going to get forty four here. Okay, two into two is four. Two into two is four. Into zero two is zero and zero two is zero. So we are left with zero four four and point is after one number. So we are getting four point four. Okay. Circumference of the circle will be equals to four point four centimeter. So total perimeter here will be how much? Total perimeter is equals to how much? The diameter, okay, D plus circumference. So diameter is how much? Two point eight. Okay, two point eight plus this four point four. So how much we are getting here? If we add this, we are going to get eight plus four is twelve. So two here and one will be carried. Four plus one is five. Five plus two is seven. So we are getting seven point two centimeter. Okay, this is for the figure A. Now let us consider the figure B here. Okay, you can see this is figure B. Okay. And this is at the similar height. You can see this part is given as two point eight centimeter. It means this complete part will also be two point eight. Okay, two point eight centimeter. Here, as it is given as one point five centimeter, this also complete part will be one point five centimeter. Okay, so what we need to add here one point five centimeter plus this one point five centimeter. Sorry, this two point eight centimeter. Plus this one point five centimeter and this half semicircle. Just now we got semicircle to be as four point four. So total area, total parameter will be how much? So let us count. For the B one, total parameter will be equals to
pi r value plus okay pi r this is nothing but the semi circle value okay semi circle value plus 1.5 plus 1.5 two sides plus top portion that is how much 2.8 since the diameter down they have given it is 2.8 the upper part will also be 2.8 so let us substitute here pi r value is we have found it here pi r value that is 4.4 so let us count 4.4 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 2.8 so what we are getting see here 5 5 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 8 is 18 18 plus 4 is 22 so 2 i will take here and 2 will be carried here 4 plus 2 is 6 7 8 9 and 10 so we are getting 10.2 cm okay this is for the b1 now let us see the figure number c here Okay so you can see this is figure number C so this is having three partition one is this part one is this part and the upper part okay so perimeter how can we find we have to add all the three parts so this 2 cm this 2 cm plus this half semi circle again we know that semi circle how much we got it uh, we got it to be as 4.4 only so let us substitute the third one here So you can see the third one. Total parameter for the third figure will be two centimeter plus two centimeter two sides plus pi r the semi circle. Okay, pi r how much we got? Two plus two plus four point four. So two plus two is four. Four plus four point four is eight point four centimeter. We got. So according to our question, you can see here question was given as. You can see for which foot piece would the ant have to take a longer round? So we need to consider these three things here, and we have to tell what. Uh, which parameter is the longer one? Okay, so the first one we got the answer to be as seven point two, second one to be ten point two, and the third one we got it as eight point four. So which one is having the longer area, longer sides, roots? It will be having the second one. So B is having the figure B is having. longer round okay so the ant has to travel a uh, longer round for this figure b okay so i hope everything is cleared here if you are having any doubt regarding this exercise you can comment me down below i'll definitely uh, try to solve it out so don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll be back soon with the another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you